welcome back to my life. This is my Carter's Life channel. You guys might know me from my main channel, Carter Share, but this channel is all about my life, and this is day number three of the pond build. We're getting the machines warmed up. We're gonna be digging because this front pond looks like the surface of Mars, but when we're done with it, it's gonna be beautiful. In the last episode, as we were finishing up, this thing slid into the pond and it was so scary. And today we're gonna be moving on the dirt. We got Matt all set up. Yeah. We got the dump truck. We got this and our goal is to be moving a ton of dirt today. It's been drying out. We've been pumping it out. And well, this is what it looks like. It's really nasty and disgusting. We're hoping it's dry enough to pick up some of the slop start hauling it away. We're all ready to go, so let's start slinging some slop. We got a new bucket camera trying out, so uh, you guys will be right in the thick of it in the slop that we're slinging. Let's go. All right, Mr. Dumpy Man, you ready to drive the, the absolute dumpster? Oh yeah, sling me some slop. <laughs> the slop dumpster, let's go. That was a step, but when I fell into the pond over there, it's not really much of a step anymore, so we're climbing up into this machine. Ugh, cozy. Heat and AC with a cup holder and a backup camera. And we gotta sling some slop. Slinging and slopping all day long. Close it, here we go. This is only my second day of operating this thing, so the controls are still uh, fresh. Oh, 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 yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Nothing like learning on the job. Oh, that's a big old slop bucket. Bucket of slop. All right, let's see if the dump truck is in a good position. And it's actually in a better position than it's been. Oh, that almost slopped back out at me. Oh my gosh, that is sloppy. Oh, there we go. That's a big sloppy bucket. And a little bit of that blue clay or sand or silt or I don't know, it's like a bluish green, it's quite interesting. All right, well, things are off and moving. This is fun. Every single slot bucket is a win. Every amount of dirt that we haul away is a small win. and it takes a, a decent amount of brain power. Like the longer I do this, I kind of get fried. It feels like studying for like a test. Like it just wears you out at some point. And that actually, oh, that ended up being okay. I'm a little higher than I think I need to be when I drop this. That's okay, that was fine. Oh, the whole thing just popped off the ground. I gotta be a little easier. Matt was waiting while I was loading him up, and now I'm waiting while he's making the run. So the faster he drives, the faster he gets back, which means the faster I can start digging again, and the faster we can get this project done. So I wonder how fast Matt's driving right now. 23 miles an hour. Well, this thing has so much power. Woo! I knew he was driving fast. And cresting the hill, speak of the devil, it's Matt in the dump truck. Oh my gosh, he's ripping. He's ripping. Honk it. Yeah. Woo he's going so fast, which means I gotta get back in the cab and start digging. The dump truck's already back. So fast. Matt came back so fast, I literally, he caught me sleeping on the job. I was waiting for him to come back. I had no idea. Oh boy. She is full for sure. Oh, you better hurry. You better hurry. Go, 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 go.
I think we can finish this quadrant maybe even before sundown. I'm kind of scooping deep, but if I, I'm gonna start working on the upper, really cleaning that up, and then kind of see where we're at. The goal is to get all the slop, and then below the slop is like blue dirt. That's the natural bottom. We want to scrape it all the way down. There's still about a foot under all this slop, but that's all like junk. Underneath is the good hard packed natural ground, and this is all just bleh, like just slop. Matt's driving this thing so fast. The last trip I swear I was really fast. I was like, no, you gotta go see the time. It's about like four minutes. I need more time. I got two buckets done, and I'm like, all right. Uh -huh. We're going for a ride in the big old dumpy to see what this thing's all about. It's gotta be ridiculous. Ooh, a little muddy. All right. Woo. Hang on tight. We must be absolutely ripping. <laughs> Maximum right. efficiency. But here we go, just absolutely ripping and rocking. Gotta go up past the cop car. Don't get a speeding ticket in the driveway. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly, gotta go slow here. Yeah, and then once you're out of sight of a cop, <laughs> then we can bust down. But we're making such quick work, it's kind of ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's going pretty well. It's getting pretty good. I'm pretty close to scraping bottom. Yeah, this hill is steep. Is that full throttle? That's full throttle. That's yeah. everything she's got? That's everything she's got. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that slop pile. That's yeah, nice and sloppy. And then I pop her, and we're dumping. Oh my god. <laughs> Matt had, this is why Matt's so fast. He's throwing levers, slipping and slopping. Honestly, if anything, I'm slowing him down. I gotta grab that camera before we forget about it. But this is all we dug out. And it's so sloppy, it only piles this high before it just like, bleh, like slime. But it will dry out and it'll become very high quality topsoil dirt that we can use for everything, including a motocross track, which we're just laying the foundation for right here, which is sick. out here driving the cat. Trying to move some slop. It looks maybe a little drier, but it's a little dry. Pretty yeah, darn sloppy. Yeah. Pretty darn. Oh yeah, Carter's life. We are back at it again. To continue the lake dredging project today, we actually have a lot of time committed to it. But you can see the progress. We are making some. We did a little bit over there. And now we're gonna really make a big dent today. And honestly, there's a chance we could even finish it. But I'm sure there's gonna be more struggles as we go. So it's gonna be another fun day of running this machine, learning new skills, running the dump truck. Oh my goodness. First time I've ever seen the rare and ridiculous dumping co. All right, we gotta get a close up look on this. I see we got one sticker. It's the, it's the one that matters. I can see it yeah, on the exactly. side. It's the one that matters. Oh, that looks so good. It does look good. Oh my goodness. Carter's life. Look at the new branding. It's RAR Rare and Ridiculous Dumping Co. with the monsters. It's the same logo as Cat. Heavily inspired, may I say. But that honestly looks better than that one. Oh my gosh. That's so sick. We need a big one on there. All right, well, today's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna get things fired up and we're gonna be working through this front section here and just start digging. Man, that filled up with water. So I'm about to dig that, get that to drain and just start digging, digging, digging and digging. It's gonna be a good day. 80 degrees and sunny here at the Team Our House. You gotta get this bad boy fired up. There we go. Da, 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 da. Put the key in. Boom, we gotta make that say RAR. Construction Co, Diggy Co. Here we go, we're kinda just getting everything warmed up and moving. We are gonna drive back into position. All right, we're walking forward. I don't know how well you guys can see. It looks like it should be pretty decent. You can see the bucket out there. You guys may have seen in the last episode up ahead, uh, at the end of the day, I slid into the pond, which was terrifying. It went about as good as it could have gone. Luckily, we had Chris from Let's Dig 18 to help us out. And he quite literally saved the day and it kind of feels like a non-issue, but it was close to being like a serious issue. Um, so I'm 
gonna, it's drier and hopefully we don't fall in. So we're gonna go and get, start getting digging here. Um, I gotta clear out this flood of a puddle here. All while getting our first dumpy loads filled up. <laughs> That's funny. That got me good. It's gonna be pretty satisfying once I break the dam here and all that water just gushes out. This is kind of like, it feels like my third day kind of in the seat, actually putting in some time. And I'm getting a, a really good hang of it. Uh, it's pretty complicated, so some movements are still a challenge and I kind of mess up, but it's starting to become like an extension of my body. Like it feels, it's starting today especially, more than any of the other days, it feels like uh, I could get that bucket to kind of do what I want it to do without having to think too hard if that makes sense. But we'll see, I mean this is like literally my third scoop of the day. Slopping, plopping the slop. Slop, pop, plopping. Pop, plopping the slopping. Uh, and there we go, the dam is broken and we can see the water just rushing out. That's very satisfying. That is a sloppy dump truck load for sure. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, I gotta get a better angle of this for you guys. Here we go, you can see the dam is broken right there. This whole pond that developed overnight is now rushing out and it's just filling. And uh, oh my gosh, it's literally like rapids. That is so cool. That's a lot more water hanging out in here than I thought. Wow, look at that. Okay, we got a lot of water. And it doesn't even look like it went down. So that's a deep, deep hole filled. I'm gonna keep digging. And that's ultimately flowing down to the deep end. So this is engineered correctly and that's where our pump is. So we'll be able to run the pump and keep drying this out as we dig today, which is awesome. Carter to Dumpy, Dumpy Co, come in. Dumpy Co here. <laughs> Dumpy Co is about to be full and sloppy. That's a big scoop. Yes. This thing probably weighs like 700 pounds of just gunk right here. Uh, uh, okay, finessed without too much. This angle's, uh, it's a bit challenging to, there we go. Okay, that definitely weighed the suspension down on the dump truck a, a fair bit. I wanna get the water out so I'm not just scooping water. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's pretty heavy. Maybe we'll do like one more, I don't know. It's hard to say when this thing's actually like full. Believe it or not, water is very heavy. And so this dirt would be a lot lighter if it's dried out and a lot of it is, but when it gets really sloppy, it's really messy and really heavy, which just means we only can move so many trucks of it at a time and it slows us down and it's gross. Okay, so I'm gonna give Matt a little beep beep. Yeah, this should be uh, good to go. And hopefully I didn't overload him because I, I very may well have overloaded him. Can we um, maybe start running the pump again to get some of this water out? I got you. so satisfying. Yes. And then we'll go to bucket cam up here for this big boy. Oh, yes. Man, that feels good. It's funny because this was underwater after we originally like started the project and it dried out. It's like less sloppy all of a sudden, which doesn't make sense that it can dry out underwater, but maybe somehow by digging the deep end, it did. I kind of lost track of how many scoops, but I'm gonna give him one more. Ooh, Matt waved me down. He says, no, no, no. Ugh, tailgate. We got so much dirt built up here on the tailgate. The tailgate quits closing right. Seems like we got it now. Uh, shoot.
Yeah, it looks like it's right there. Right where you're pushing. I mean, you can definitely see it. Oh, careful there. I'm gonna get this thing a little more settled in there if you're gonna do that. <laughs> yep, like yep. that. Not doing that anymore? Yep. Good to go. Got the okay from the rare and ridiculous Dumpy Co. Woo! Love that. That sticker is so hot. I could say that I'm hot and bothered by it because I am. That is so, ex I just love that. It makes the dump truck feel so much more custom and unique, or shall I say rare and ridiculous. This might be Matt's last load. Beep, beep. Let's go ahead and send him off. Oh man. It's funny because this is a career. Like people get paid to uh, do quite literally this. And we got a quote to dig this pond out, this exact one, this exact job we're doing, and dig it all out and haul the dirt to the back, like in the woods somewhere. And the quote was like $40,000. And I couldn't believe how expensive it is. But if you think about how much effort it takes, how much equipment it is, and how expensive this equipment can be, and whatever other like business insurance and employees and pay by the hour and skilled labor like it's there's a lot you can do wrong so you got to know what you're doing but i just couldn't fathom paying 40 grand to do such a fun job anyways and so instead of paying 40 grand i put that budget towards this machine which only cost a hundred thousand dollars which i mean i shouldn't say only it's a, it's a crazy amount of money but my thinking is uh, do a few jobs around the house. The front pond here is thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. There's another job on the channel that connects the two lakes that go into the bridge when we jet ski. That needs to be dredged. It's a similar story where a bunch of stuff has fallen in over the years. That was another $30,000. So that puts us up to like sixty dollars to $70,000 for someone to do the job for us. And then there's uh, the entire big lake. And you know, I don't know if we're gonna get the entire lake done, but there's uh, aspects of that lake that absolutely need to be dredged and are really gross on some of the edges. And I haven't gotten a quote for that, but it would be another, you know, probably a hundred grand, honestly, if not more, depending on how big of the area is and how the, the quote comes out. So overall, my guesstimate on the property, if we did all the yard work, you know, managing all the water bodies of water. I think we're at about $250,000 worth of dredging that we could uh, get quoted for on the property. And so obviously I don't want to spend that. I would never spend that money for these kinds of things. I would just live with this thing being super ugly. Uh, so that's why I figure, okay, great. I will spend the money, $100,000 on this machine, do all the projects and it'll pay for the machine. I get to learn a new skill, have fun, and bring you guys along and make content. And you guys know that's my job, is to make content. That's how I make money too. And so I can make money while saving money, and then if at the very end of it all, I still get to keep the machine. And if I wanted to sell it, I could probably sell it for between eighty dollars and $90,000. So it would only have cost me $10,000 to do it all. And I love doing this stuff, so it's fun for me. And uh, that's kind of how I'm approaching a lot of projects. Uh, this one being a big one. And it's okay if I mess it up. I'm down. Failures are great. I learn a lot. Oh, we got the long crew. Hopefully they just hold for a minute. Nope. They're not waiting. Okay. They maintain the grass, so. Ugh. I think they probably messed some stuff up. I think we have a little bit of a situation here, guys. What happened? He hit the uh, the tail light. The whole the, the there's like a little bracket that holds one of the lights up. It's all yeah. smashed now. He I saw clipped him. it with the tiny little bit of his tailgate. I saw him sitting. I'm thinking, just give me a couple. I didn't even I didn't even see him coming. I was just I don't know why he didn't wait. Yeah, I told him next. He didn't he didn't think I was in the truck. I don't know. He thought he was gonna be in the clear. And then I figured out. Well, they're the landscapers. If they mess anything up, they'll be good for it. Yeah, so he said like, just whatever. let Robert know and he'll pay for it. So. All right, just take a couple pictures, and that's yeah, how I Yeah, he said he's did. sorry. He thought he was he was gonna get around it. I wanted to put new LED lights on it anyway, so you know it's a win. It's a free LED light. We'll, we'll be optimistic. It's still an L, but we'll be optimistic. We'll be optimistic. Yeah, so, it's free LED lights. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, 
we'll keep moving on. Oh man, I just saw that coming. I mean, I feel like every time we're out here, we're just trying to work and there's always something going on, whether it's with the pond or the truck or the this or the that, but you know, it's all part of it. And this is why I like to film stuff because it's fun and I get to hang out with you guys all day and just show cool stuff that just happens like, uh, here we go, here's got, we got Tim coming over. How we doing? I didn't know, I didn't know you knew how to operate this stuff. That's right. <laughs> we're having Sorry fun. Sorry about the light, man. It's all good. Okay. I was hoping you were just gonna wait. I didn't see, I didn't know he was in the truck. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna be out here all day, so if you see us, it, okay. only, it only takes a couple minutes to load up, Okay. and okay. then we'll pull out of your way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, that's my guy. His name's Tim, he's wonderful. He's out here helping us on the property. Uh, every week he comes out, he helps maintain the ground. He's such a great guy. A little bit of an accident, I'm not gonna be judging him. You know, things happen, it's no big deal. You know, we'll fix it, and like Matt says, we'll be optimistic, we'll put even better stuff in there than what it has, and he's updated anyway, so. There's always, always a silver lining if you're just having a good time and being optimistic, and hopefully people are, are nice. And he is stuck. Should I give him a little push with the bucket? Nope, he made it, he's getting out. Okay, good, great. You need a free operator? I'll come over in an hour and do some free work. I mean, how can anybody say no to that? Are you ready for this? I'm ready to play. All right, let's see what Chris you, can do. You're, you're getting the hang of it pretty good. I'm impressed. Yeah? You're doing pretty good. Okay, good. Is it bad the landscapers tore the truck up more than you did? I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> they tried to pass. And, they uh, did. Smashed into it, but he's gotten all this mud out so far. You saw it there where we dumped. I'm going to come in here and cut a little bit of this out, see if I can't get a ramp in there, and uh, possibly go out there and go ahead and grab all that mud and lay it over so you can uh, safe and safely get to it. That's right. Then we don't have to get a call yeah. before dark for well, rescue. You know, if you need that like, viral video, <laughs> you're not Maybe. far away. Oh, I can, I can really get this thing stuck if you want me to. I'm sure you could. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move some mud. Let's see what Chris can do. Driving next, we got Chris from Let's Dig 18. Let's see how he does it. All right, let's move a little bit of mud here. All right, let's skim a little bit of mud out of here and load it into the dump truck. So I'm trying not to get too carried away with digging the uh, the bank back because uh, I don't need too steep of a slope where I can't uh, get out of the pond. That wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't be very good. So right now, Chris is testing how firm this is. So we can potentially drive this down into here so we can reach all the other stuff here that we can't reach. So driving it down there is going to be insane because it might get stuck and sink way deeper than the big bastard. He's getting the longest reach. Oh, I see. He's tracing out how far he's going to be able to reach. I guess to make sure that he's going to do everything less than that. I guess when he climbs in then he'll just focus on everything outside of that. Yeah, I think I can go in and out right here. Yeah, I can get out of there, I think. If not, we'll just dig a ramp till we can get out. You think you could climb out of that? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna load out one more and then I'm gonna take off in there. But I'm gonna be committed for about an hour. You want me to just take that and get it laid over here so you can dig it out? Oh, I see. That's a good idea. So you're gonna just go down to the I'm center, down in there, sit right there and then take reach the edge and pile it up big and high. Everything from like that corner to like where your tire print is and just put it in a big pile right here for you to work out of. Okay, you think you can scrape all that fast enough? How would you get out? You're gonna drive and push the boom like to be allowed. I'll come up here and I'll stick the bucket up here and pull myself up and if it won't pull itself up, I'll turn around and push it. Okay, it should work. Should work. That's the magic. Sure. Sure, Matt will want to see it go in. I feel confident enough to put your machine. <laughs> All right, let's dig 18. It's probably going to ruin my whole brand new excavator. No. Let's see. The good thing is it will not affect me in any way. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck. Let's do it. Guys, comment down below if you think it's a bad idea. 
We're about to find out. Luckily, Chris is literally a professional. All he does every single day is digs, and his whole YouTube channel is driving this exact machine. I don't think he has a ball, though. Uh, he's going for it. Well, I guess we're doing something crazy today. All right. We are heading out into the pond. Here he goes. So he's gonna put the bucket arm out so if he tips, he'll catch himself. The bottom of this pond is solid. How the bank is, I don't know. He's already down using the arm. Yeah, that's it. Oh, he slid. Yeah, that's not coming out. It's not coming out. That's not it's coming not out. Coming out at all. Not coming out. This is the little engine that could. It really is. It's gonna live in here. Yeah. It's not coming out. Not the way it came in. It's least. below sea level right now. <laughs> I think the engine is below sea level. Oh, for sure. Yeah. This is the drain, and he's like you way. Just how deep this pond's gonna be. Yeah, it'll be. I mean, it's like my parents' great pond. Yeah, really. We really need to take this thing to your parents' place and do like, do like a full blown Worry. restoration. Yeah. Truck it all down here, bring all the dirt here. I'll make a few trips. <laughs> oh, <that's terrible. laughs> there we go, just digging big scoops. That's all the leaves. Man, you can see how much deeper we had to go from this side. It's kind of finessing a good angle. All right, moment of truth. Is this thing going to come out of the pond? Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna have enough power. Nope. There we go. Excavator is out. Not gonna lie, I was getting slightly concerned. At this point in the day, we're gonna just pick up where Chris left off. He has this amazing pile of dry stuff ready to go in the Team Rara Dumpy Co. The rare and ridiculous Dumpy Co. dump truck. And we're just gonna run a time lapse, see how much we can get done. For you guys, it's gonna be a few seconds. For us, it's gonna be hours until sunset. The last time we were here, the pile was only this. Now we have a, another row, and also this is all the way up to the end of the trees. It's drying out tremendously. It's only a little bit squishy. Every day it's drying so much. So we're pretty much ready. Oh my gosh. So we're pretty much ready to start shaping this and start making the initial layouts of the new motocross track, the pit bike track, the monster truck course. And this is still maybe only 15, 20% of the total dirt that we're gonna bring out. We're gonna continue working and probably, we're gonna probably have like four, five, six rows of this. Maybe eight. Eight rows, who knows? We, we still have quite a bit. I don't, we're not halfway, oh, even close. No, Chris said we're like 20% at most. Yeah. So, so. We, yeah, we got a lot, a lot more of this yeah. great dirt. And it's uh, sandy or whatever, who knows? Really interesting. Yeah, you can see it right here. Uh-oh. We're cracking the driveway, you think? Yeah, 100%. Like this whole area, just yeah, the ripples? It's, it's it's being worn down by the dump truck. That's wild because don't you think the trash truck would be doing that? Mm. Are you putting more pressure? Mm. That doesn't seem to make sense. I wonder sense. what the trash truck weighs. Yeah, you'd think it weighs a lot more. Because we're probably like 30,000 pounds. Like right I mean, there, I don't know if I'm new. just noticing it because I'm looking for it. Well, it's let's uh, like that. drive up to that one. This does look new. Yeah, I don't remember all of these cracks being 